In this video, we are looking at three super impressive IEMs around $100, less than $100 to be precise. The Sigga Q is priced at just $80. Kefine Delsi can be bought at around $80, $90. The retail price is $90, but I think it can be bought at around $75, $80 too. While the SP01 sound rhyme sp01 is strictly priced at 90 dollars all of these have uh, if i'm not wrong 10 mm dynamic drivers but they have totally different tuning principles let's start with the set of accessories all of these are very well accessorized we get high quality cables but as you guys can see Sibga doesn't come with a 4.4 mm cable and look at this cable. This, this cable looks very premium. I have seen brands selling this kind of cables at around $40. So this is a fairly premium looking cable and it doesn't have a lot of memory issues. Not as much as the Soundrime SP01. You guys can see the Soundrime SP01 is a bit of, uh, uh, has a bit of memory and it is slightly unruly and difficult to handle at times not always but uh, sometimes it is slightly difficult to uh, handle the most supple cable has to be from kefine the angel ears cables angel ears collaboration this angel ears cable is uh, a lot more supple and doesn't have any memory issues which is a great thing in my opinion, I find this cable to be uh, very good and uh, these two come with 4.4 mm termination. 4.4 mm termination. If we uh, talk about the quality of this cable, as I said, Sivga has the best cable and uh, setup accessories are very similar. We do not get a lot of tips with any of this, but uh, this one has a tip organizer, which is a good addition to uh, a budget IEM. In any case, if we look at the cases, I find the Sivga case to be the most premium of this lot. This one looks fantastic. You guys can see this fake leather or vegan leather case is bigger than all of this. Okay, you guys can see the difference in size is fairly big. If you look at the sizes, this is much bigger and can contain a dongle inside too so it is a lot more bigger and a lot more convenient to have if you want to carry extra stuff inside your uh, carry case if we talk about sound quality all these iems come with dynamic drivers but their tuning principles are totally different okay they do not share nearly anything but yes uh, there are uh, supposed to be some similarities all of these IEMs are very very good with end-to-end -end extension okay uh, I'm talking about similarities first these three IEMs are very very good with end-to-end -end extension but the Sivga Q has a bit of rolled off upper treble to provide a more relaxed presentation while these two are very good with the energy up till the end and uh, they retain uh, very good clarity details and definition in the triple range too while the Sivga, Sivga Q is slightly slightly relaxed okay slightly relaxed it is uh, trying to be a more uh, musically uh, sounding fun oriented IM and yes Sivga Q is the more fun oriented IM of this lot all these IMs are very good with bass too while the Soundrime SP01 is the bassiest, okay. It has the biggest bass punch. Amount of air moved by the SP01 is bigger than both these. While the Sigga Q is slightly slower with the DK than the Kefine Delsi. Delsi has faster, cleaner, better definition with the bass. All of these are very good when it comes to layer delivery, but thanks to its uh, control and uh, uh, definition it kind of feels a bit more resolving you find delsi a sounds a bit more resolving and uh, cleaner okay uh, the the layers are a lot more cleaner with the uh, delsi a 
second place goes to Sivga. Sivga because it has that extra bit of cohesion. Slightly slower decay makes it a lot more cohesive. It sounds a lot more uh, melting into your ears kind of uh, experience. And uh, I like the Sivga Q a lot. It is not huge with the bass body or anything like that. But it sounds very, very intriguing. A bit unique too because of its presentation. It sounds very good. SP01 is a bassy IM. It has the bass. It can deliver big rumbles. Okay. But it kind of feels slightly monotonous in that uh in that perspective it can feel slightly uh, lacking dynamics okay it has good uh, upper bass control okay there is no bleeding with upper bass none of these ims are uh, bad with upper bass clarity okay upper bass notes are not uh, uh, softer so that is a great thing but these two can deliver a bit more cleaner presentation across the spectrum these two have better dynamic abilities and technical abilities while this one can feel fun all around it does not have that kind of variation with the bass notes but it is good no problem with the uh, bass i will not say it is bad or anything and you can use the tuning uh, nozzles given with the sp01 uh, for a bit more control but i found the other two to be a bit more natural unnatural okay this one the golden nozzle to be the best for me it still is bassy in that uh, nozzle so yeah it's a kind of a bassy im if we talk about the nozzles of del c a e i was unable to distinguish them initially because they sounded very similar except the fact that the golden nozzle the uh, golden one i believe uh, let me check yes yes the golden nozzle has a bit more triple stage a bit more taller notes and uh, that's it the bass is unchanged so i was not very uh, bothered about that uh, if we talk about mid range mid range is where things get uh, a lot more different okay bass was not very similar but mid range is where things get a lot more different i will have to go with the del c a e when it comes to the mid range it has the best clarity and uh, best definition it is uh, the most resolving im of this lot when it comes to mid range i will not say it has a very good tonality and timber very cohesive tonality and timber but it has the clarity it has the extra bit of definition and resolution that we all like separation and layering is very very good Tonality and timber are aptly natural, but they are not warm or thick, so it does not feel very cohesive or very uh, intriguing or smooth. So that is uh, one good thing and bad thing about the Del C A. While the Sivga Q is fantastic with the cohesion. Okay, it has thicker, warmer notes that can be a bit of a uh, bit of. Uh, uh, extra bit of energy with the finishing region at times but uh, there is nothing to worry about at all i didn't like the uh, slightly blunt kind of presentation i was expecting a bit more clarity a bit more transparency and the separation okay so what what sivga q does is it has uh, a bit of kind of milky kind of uh, mid body uh, feeling okay it does not sound very clean it does not have that uh, mid body clarity it is very good you can see the you can feel the notes rise and drop but that mid body uh, model is not giving it uh, any favors okay it kind of feels like there is a bit of muddle in in the mid body region which i kind of feel is not a great thing but if you do not care about that it's a very cohesive and fun sounding im with very very good vocal tonality okay very cohesive vocals and that slower decay is uh, always uh, uh, fun to have it kind of gives it a, a very cohesive feeling if we talk about the sp01 sp01 is very good too i find this to be in between this two <clears throat> not lacking with cohesion or anything but uh, it does not have the extra bit of 
transparency of this or a very high quality cohesion of the Sivga Q. It is in between and it does very good too. There are no issues with uh, the SP01. It is a better all rounder, I have to say. It does everything well, no issues with uh, clarity or anything like that. Uh, transparency is very good, tonality and timbre are aptly good, no issues uh, there at all. So, these are very good sounding IMs for mid range, but I am not giving this. Uh, the highest marks because it is in between if you want something in between you will have to pick this over this too but uh, i am going with the okay, fine delcy for its extra bit of clarity and transparency with the mid-range this is good this is very good no problem with that i am uh, liking this too if we talk about triple okay Dribble is where the Kefine Delcy is the king. Okay, it has that expansion, it has the clarity, it has the energy, it has the sparkle, it has the extra bit of extension and uh, energy up till the end. It is very good with the triple clarity, and uh, if you like airy triple, you will love the Kefine Delcy A. It is one of the best IMs to get for triple clarity and air. Okay. If you want something docile, something smoother that does not attack you, you want a more relaxing sound, then Sivga Q is the one to get. It is a very uh, kind of smoothish sounding IM with decent clarity. No issues with clarity. I will not say they are not clear. But that extra bit of transparency, the note height is not there. It's a more L-shaped IM. So it does not try to deliver very good clarity or definition with the triple region or else it too is a very good sounding IM when it comes to triple. If we talk about SP01, as I said, it stays in between. It delivers very good clarity, very good energy up till the end. There is no issues with clarity or uh, transparency either. But uh, the Kefine Delcy has more precision and more accuracy, more sparkle too. This one is decent. This one is in between when it comes to sparkle and everything. So if you are looking for an all round performer, Going for the sound rhyme SP01 is the better option. This one is for a musical and fun oriented presentation. Okay, uh, Sivga Q is lot more fun and uh, cohesive. Okay, that extra bit of cohesion, slightly slower decay, that uh, uh, I'll say creamy smooth uh, decay is very intriguing. If you want that, if you want a unique sounding IM, this one can be the creamy fun oriented IM, tasteful IM you are looking for. It's not a very bassy IM, but you get very good layered delivery and uh, uh, the technicalities are just uh, okay. If you want a detailed IM, okay, if you are, if you like extra bit of clarity and transparency with your IMs, then going with the Kefine Delcy is the best option. If you want a good all rounder, as I said, SP01 is a very, very capable IM. If we talk about staging, staging is very interesting. These two are very similar when it comes to staging. They have diagonal uh, stages. Okay, uh, They do not have a lot of presence under the chin, but uh, they have a lot more presence over the eyes. Okay, They are a top heavy kind of uh, uh, stage. They have a top heavy kind of stage. While the Sivga Q has a more rounded stage. It has similar uh, presence above the eyes and under the chin. So <clears throat> if you want that kind of holographic presentation okay if you like a more 3d like presentation with very good z axis presence this one is the one to get kefine delcy can feel a bit flat when it comes to z axis uh, depth or else it has very good height very good width while the sp01 is in between it is average with the z axis depth and uh, slightly smaller when it comes to height and uh, similar to the width of uh, Kefine Delcy. I will not say any of these have huge stage, but uh, they have big stage when compared to some other IEMs in this price range from last year. Okay, last year stages of IEMs under hundred dollars were abysmal. Okay, they were average at best. But these three are very good with stages. Pick the one you like if you like a more uh, relaxed, slightly rounded kind of stage. 
then going for the Sivga Q is the better option. They are very good with Q placement and uh, stuff. There are no hollow uh, feeling with uh, any of these IEMs. Uh, so that's a good thing. So this is it. This is my a comparison of these three high quality IEMs under $100. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy.